money, I didn't go into it for the holidays. If I would have done, I'd have left by now the profession. This is about one man, one man who does not listen, one man who doesn't believe that children have the right to a fair education in all subjects across the spectrum. He thinks that they should be robots who are only able to produce facts and figures. And I'm not in education for that, and that's why he's got to go. It's about one man, Michael Gove. He's got to go. This is the first time I've ever been on strike. I've never been caught out. I've never seen anything as extreme as this. I really feel it's worth the sacrifice. He wants to turn the clock back 50 or 100 years to an education system based upon rote learning of facts, to get rid of any notion of critical thinking, narrowing down of the curriculum. The war that the Secretary of State is, is, is waging against education, against teachers, against our young people, based on ideology, not based on evidence, not based on research, not based on proper fact, not based on consultation. Free schools are entitled to employ who they like. And it could be anybody who may know their subject but isn't going to know about children or education. And that's hugely important. I think teachers should be qualified. I think every child deserves the right to a teacher who's been trained and who knows what they're doing and has time to prepare good learning for them. And I think the cuts that the government are putting in aren't going to allow that. Get them out! Get them out! Get them out! It's just not possible to do in a day. Most teachers I know work at least 50 to 60 hours a week rather than the 35 or 36 that the government judges and they're looking at reducing pay and making us work even longer. As teachers, we're not prepared to work till 68 to pay more for our pension only to retire on less. It's a mad equation and to think we're stupid enough to go for it is an insult to everyone in the profession. Look at what Gove's advisor said last week, where he said that working class children are genetically determined to fail. It's all in the genes. We don't believe in that. We believe that education offers a way for every child to develop, but it's part and parcel of his vision of the world, and that's why I think we would be in favour of uniting with every group of workers who are fighting the same enemy. And the TUC in September said it was going to look at having a coordinated day of protest to strike right across the public sector midweek. That will be an excellent thing to happen. We were fighting the same fight from different sectors but with the same point of view. It's a government who is pro big business, big money as opposed to working class people, working class families. Maybe we should be having one big day of action where all of us are out to say we're not putting up with this government any longer and what it's trying to do to working class people and their families and their children. PCS inside sanctuary buildings and like the rest of our national union we are supporting the strike by teachers today. We face the same issues of cuts, of attacks on our terms and conditions, of attacks on facility time and we are absolutely behind the unions who are striking today.